Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be checking out a game by Games Incubator called Ship Graveyard Simulator. If you've ever watched any possible documentaries or seen any videos on YouTube of actual real-life ship graveyards, you know that it's a very grueling, very dangerous job. So now we get a chance to actually play it. I have not played this at all. I've just set up the options and that's it because I want to see what's what with you for the first time. Now this game is coming out tomorrow. I'll be posting this video today, so it's coming out tomorrow on the 10th. Games Incubator presents. Yep. Well, there is a graveyard. Now how this works is they just run old ships aground into these places and then people come in to... Uh, well, dismantle them. And that's where they live, I suppose. Right next to the graveyard. I think that's our house, actually. Ships are your main playground. There is plenty to destroy on them and they can hide many secrets. Explore, carefully check abandoned ships. You can find many materials on them. Deck, living quarters, engine room. There are many places to explore. Drive your car to travel faster. Dismantle whatever you can. There are simple barrels or pipes as well as massive engines to find and scrap and collect. There is a big variety of materials for common steel and copper to very precious silver and gold. Choose wisely because you have a limited inventory space. Well, copper is, I suppose, pretty pretty good as well. Controls will, yeah, pull materials will uh, ignore. Well, actually, skill tree. Huh. Flashlight, pull materials, use tools. Okay. Um. Now, seeing the... Are we crouching? No. Oh, we're very small, apparently. I'm... I will not claim to know uh, what happens in these real-world graveyards, but I'm pretty sure that the majority of people working there are probably too poor to actually own a vehicle. I'm... But I might be just talking out of my behind. So we've got our inventory. I think that guy's trying to... Trade. Here you can sell carefully collected materials. The trader might not be the most handsome man alive, but he offers good prices. <laughs> okay, that was, I suppose that was a required description for some reason. Market rules. Material prices will change every day depending on what you're trading with. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Petroleum. Silver scrap goes for a lot, obviously. And gold scrap. Oh, so these... Okay, so these are the uh, cheap stuff, the medium stuff, and the... Nice stuff. Stainless steel, steel, rusted steel. Okay. Chromium, titanium. Yeah, titanium. I was... I wanted to say acid-resistant steel. What the hell was that? Titanium alloy. Oh, and these are the epic materials. Okay. What does this guy do? Ah, tools. Buy new tools. Here you can buy new stuff, which definitely can help you in ship destruction. You can convince the tradesman in order to, uh, uh, to order new stuff for you to buy in his tool shop. Of course, not for free. Hacksaw. We've got zero money, so I guess right now all we'll have to do is uh, just collect stuff. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to actually pay for the fuel for the truck. And does it actually have proper suspension? Hmm. I kind of doubt that, but it does look like it. All right. Let's use the truck. So where are we going? I have no idea. Um, oh, it's actually telling us where to go. <laughs> Find and destroy metal scrap. You can't get out here. Why not? Um, can I get out now? There we go. I guess I was too close to the, to the area. Happy destroying, dismantle, a critical point. So if you hit correctly, you can speed up your destruction process. Aim at the glowing sparks to deal more damage. Get more experience in hammer mastery by spending points in your skill tree. Okay. Rusted. Ah, okay. Uh, so how do I do that? Pressing one. Okay, you can hold the mouse button. There we go. Ah, and then you pick it up. Okay, and R. What is R? Oh, R just sort of hoovers it all up, I think. Hey, man. Loot. Cost 70. Oh, you can hire them. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, now it's already telling us to sell the stuff. Alright. I'm assuming this is just sort of a tutorial stage. Where it's just 
telling us about the different stuff. I've got some scrap for you. Uh, so rusted steel and some copper. No, oh, thank you. Buy hacksaw and tool shop. <clears throat> ah, now we'll be able to do more stuff. Well, it's 50. Not enough money. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping this is not a bug now. Am I missing something? XR 50 balance shop upgrade. Oh, you have to pay for him to upgrade. Well, like it said, but you have to pay for him to actually upgrade the entire shop. Um, yeah. I have sold the stuff. Um, I just don't have anything else to sell. So I'm assuming we can go and collect more scrap. It's a bit odd from the tutorial to actually do that. Well, there's these these things that look like... Ah, I can just collect it. Here, look. Yeah, there you go. And if I hold R... Oh, that's very nice. So you don't have to go and um, get each individual thing from the ground. You can just... Uh, you can just hold R and it hoovers everything up. That's much nicer. It's actually... I, I was... I, I'm quite surprised. I was expecting the hits from the hammer... To not have much of a feel, much of an effect, but it does feel quite satisfying to hit things. Oh, that was cool. A little bit of uh, damage visible. Cannot take any of this stuff apart. Okay. There's just random things lying on the ground here we can pick up. There we go. Okay, now we'll be able to afford that. Can we take these things apart? Yes, we can. Come on. bit annoying trying to find these uh, glowing things. Can I hit them from here? I think I can. More glowy things? I don't know, kind of satisfying when it just falls apart like that. I mean, you wouldn't really expect things like that to fall apart, but um, yeah. I also have to say... At least from right from the start, I kind of like the music. It's usually in these lower budget games, you expect some you know, lower budget music that's not very nice. But this is actually quite nice. It's not intrusive. It's sort of not quite completely ambient. It's quite nice. I like that. You know, it might, it might seem just like a minor thing, but... Um, these things, for example, are quite important to me. Uh, music and good sound effects. In games, they I think they add a lot to the entire feel of the game. Um, and of course, we are previewing this game for the first time. I'm just holding and pressing R while I'm going over those pieces, so we can hoover them up. Yeah, it's actually quite a nice sound effect. Uh, there's another column here. I hope it's not all just uh, run around chips and find these columns that you can actually take apart. I mean, obviously, this is just using the hammer right now. <clears throat> ah, no more space in inventory, so... Our inventory, there we go. What was that? Oh, it was oil. Alright. Don't really have to take the truck, I suppose. But now we can actually sell all of this stuff. And we're actually level 2. Alright, so, uh... How do I sell everything at once? It doesn't look like it's possible. Okay. Oh, darn it. I was kind of hoping you can just jam the right click on uh, this and it would just put everything back here as you are selling it, but no. Wow, 530. I'm pretty sure that uh, people in real life don't even get a, uh, you know, a fraction of that. Metal cutting saw. Be careful. Cutting can be addicting. <laughs> Cut beams and pipes, but watch out for very... Th uh, what? Watch out for very the sharp blade. All right, I'll watch out for very the sharp blade. Uh, cutting objects will lower the efficiency of your saw and reduce damage. Remember to buy a new blade at the hardware shop whenever necessary. Interesting. Get more experience in cutting by investing points in your skill tree. All right, so we're, we own that now. We can also buy a lockpick. There are always chests to lockpick on abandoned ships. Sometimes if you get lucky, you can find valuable gold or silver in them. Furthermore, behind locked doors, there can be secrets to find. Let's buy that. Use lockpicks to open closed chests and doors. Different chests have different lock difficulty levels. That looks a bit like the um, 
the way Fallout did it. If you ever find, uh, if you're ever short of lockpicks, buy more in the tool shop. Oh, so you have to actually. Ah, so I bought the lockpicking skill, I suppose, and now I have to. Oh no, I have got four of them. Okay. And I, I guess next we'll have to actually upgrade, um, upgrade his shop. So now it's telling us to upgrade our uh, skill points. Seventeen skill points. Hammer speed, hammer damage, car slot, utilities. Lockpick price, lockpicks, management, ship, prices of ships. What? We have to buy ships? Prices in market? Well, that's always a good thing to take, isn't it? Prices in market. What else is there? Well, obviously, we're going to take all these prices. Plus two car slots. Plus one equipment slot. Um, Let's do plus two car slots, I guess. Gold eye. See materials, prices on objects in inventory. Okay. Oh, wait. What was the progress as well? Progress. Medium, small, 100 a day. I'm not really sure what all this stuff is. Can you... I guess you can buy different ships that you can work on? Alright, so now it's saying, I'll order a ship. There you go. How do we do that? Uh, oh, there. At home. With a computer? It is a computer, holy moly, okay. Uh, your order, no bookings. Pick one of the available ships and place an order. The ship will arrive at eight. You can order only one ship at a time. So, oh, so this costs us one dollar a day, I suppose, to have it there. All right, let's uh, book. Booking completed. All right. We can also cancel it. Ship tube. <laughs> All right. So now wait for the ship, it says. Uh, all right. To keep this uh, interesting, I'm going to sleep. You will wake up at 8 the next day. All items left on the ground will disappear. New items will appear on the beach. Items on ships will stay untouched. All right. Now let's sleep. Otherwise, if I was playing this myself, I would just, you know, go around and pick more stuff up. Oh, that's kind of cool, I actually. I thought it would just slide in and that would be it. But it actually sort of bounced and, and stuff. That was interesting. Alright, so now we have a new ship, which is right there. We are going to take the car because I must, I must... Can I go through here? No. I'm assuming uh, there will be more stuff here to take, so uh, we'll need our pickup truck to actually put things in. Uh, I'll go to the right of it. Oh, it replenished these, these things. Interesting. A little bit... Uh, Destroys the, uh... I mean, you have to suspend your disbelief then, I suppose. Because it just replenishes things. But there you go. I can jump. Okay. So cool, we're actually on the ship this time around. And there's a lot of things to destroy, apparently. I'm just gonna hoover things up. Well, these are just palettes. What, what do you do with these? Collect enough materials to build a workshop. Uh, unlock ability first. Can we... That's a bit weird. If you're standing right above it, oh, you have to crouch. All right, I get it. Look at these things. The holder. Where's the weak spots? Well, I guess just like, um, just like hardship, uh, sorry, hard space ship breaker. Um, I can see this being quite therapeutic. You know, just go around destroying ships, collecting stuff. Like I said, with a game like this, with a casual game like this, where most of the time you're going to be hitting things with a hammer and sawing and so on and so forth, um, that sort of stuff really has to be sorted out well. So sound effects, you know, and animations. And anim animations are fair. Um, and sound effects are pretty darn nice. I, I like them. I think that's pretty important. So what do we do with this? Can we cut it? Suffice to say, only one man would not be able to take this entire thing apart. Um, hmm. Oh, that's cool. It does actually impact. I thought it wouldn't. Alright. Interesting music again. Maybe a more sort of... I don't know. Exotics. Asian-ish music would be more appropriate. I don't really know 
where they have these graveyards. I think a lot of them are in India? Possibly... I don't know. That area? Thereabouts? I'm assuming? There we go. So, lots of these boxes. I'm hoping I'm not just destroying them. Well, it does show the hammer, but I'm not really getting any... New level. I'm not really getting anything from them, it seems. Team material prices. Um, wow, we've got four skill points already. Jeez. Right prices in markets. Prices of ships. Well, let's go for other stuff now. Like the hammer. Hammer speed and hammer damage. Two car slots. One equipment slot. Let's still go for more car slots. That's nice. Well, it doesn't feel any faster right now. I'm sure it is, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I do kind of have a guilty pleasure with these types of games. You know, they're simple. Wow, that barrel was completely full of uh, metal. Like this thing. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, kind of a guilty pleasure, this, because, uh, you know, it's very casual. And I don't know, I kind of like it. Kind of like just uh, destroying things and cleaning out the ship, so to speak. So we get the maximum amount of money from it. How much do we have? We're all almost full. So we're going to go here to the car and put the stuff into the trunk. Yeah, it, it would be nice if I could just j jam on this or uh, just click on the, I don't know, store all button. Maybe the store all button does exist and I haven't found it yet. But uh, you know what? Let, let's go and uh, look. Let's, let's use the saw. See how that works. <coughs> Shall we? Yeah, these uh, boxes really don't seem to give anything. So what do I do? Okay, you just press and hold the bu mouse button. Oh, I didn't do it all the way. Oh, it does it again. Oh, I see. You actually have to tell it where to cut. Interesting. And then, okay, that's, that's kind of cooler. I thought it was just going to be the case of... Okay, there is a beam here that you can get. Press and hold the mouse button to cut it, and that will be it. But no, it's a little bit like a hard space ship breaker in that respect. I do like that. Can I... Why can't I cut this? Well, I didn't really want to cut it here, but I think I still get the entire thing. Yeah. Everything pops off. All right. And on that side, get away. I'm working here. I'm working here. Let's get all the weak points here. So we get this thing faster. Uh, and getting, getting closer is a little bit of a chore there. Doesn't actually let you get into completely the right position. But it doesn't seem to matter. Wait a second. Let me check something. So if I were to cut it here... Does it just need two cuts for the entire thing? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's pretty good. No, it doesn't. So you actually have to sort of properly cut it. And you see in the top right, it says next payment. Um, which I'm assuming if we still have the ship here, when the next payment arrives, well, we'll be paying that one dollar because we have to pay for the ship to be here. I can't cut this pipe? I guess not. I'm just gonna smash this barrel here. Do we have any more skill points? We do. You get skill points so freaking fast. Holy moly. 10% hammer damage. Extraordinarily quickly you get him. Still doesn't uh, feel any faster. So, long box beginner. Move mouse to rotate the pick. Hold space to rotate the lock. Oh, well, that was easy. Probably because it was a beginning one. You know what would be nice? I, I held R there, and I don't really know exactly what I picked up. It would be nice if in the lower left or something, it would just quickly show you what you picked up. Yeah, you can always go into the inventory and see that we picked up some lead, I guess, and petroleum. Um, but it would still be nice. Oh, we can't take this thing apart? Oh, intermediate box. Let's see. So if it's anything... Yeah. If it's anything like... Uh, 
fallout, and it is alcohols. Um, then you you can break these lockpicks if you're not careful. Oh, uh, cast iron, copper. What do I do with this? Do I just press E? No, I need a welder of sorts, I guess. Not a welder, a, a propane torch. Okay. More things to take apart. Boing. <laughs> yeah, I like these sound effects. It's quite, uh... Quite nice. Like I said, when uh, all you're doing... No more space. When all you're doing in this game is just taking things apart, it's quite, uh, it's quite nice to have proper sound effects. So now the truck will be uh, full, but I still wanted to make sure that I can stuff in everything that I can. The stuff that uh, stacks. Yeah, you, you mustn't forget to press R and hold R when you're taking things apart. Oh. I oh, see, that's why I'm confused, because I pick things up and it doesn't actually tell you that. They really need to add that, I think. Oh, you can go up, that's cool. Um, no. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I think they really need to add that. Um, they need to add a little bit of text on the bottom left, where it just shows you momentarily what you've picked up. So that, so you actually have a, you know, a bit of a feedback telling you, yes, you actually picked that stuff up because you held R. Or just maybe a slight sound effects like... You know, a very unobtrusive sound effect to let you know that you're picking things up successfully. I think that would be a nice quality of life uh, addition. But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I was expecting, you know, this is not a, obviously a, a, a triple A game. You can't expect that from that. It wouldn't be fair. Um, but I was expecting it to be far more janky than it is because Let's let's be honest. Let's face it. A lot of these uh, simulator games can be because they're made on a you know on a fairly low budget, and uh, a lot of the times they do feel very very janky. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to say this thing does not feel like it at the moment. See, I've forgotten to pick stuff up there. I wonder if these things can actually roll down the ship, and then you have to pick them up there. I guess they can. Well, maybe. No more space in inventory. Right, we gotta we gotta go and sell this stuff. We can actually do this entire ship in one day. I wonder if I I'll have probably enough money to. Uh... Oh, okay, that's actually a little bit more tricky. This one, what is that? It's like silver or something. All uh, right. Um... Yeah, I think we'll have enough money here to uh, to upgrade the shop and buy new things. Ooh, okay, well, I suppose it'll just do that. I wonder if you can die by uh, jumping down. Yeah, when I was talking about the music being nice... Mm -hmm. Kind of changing now. I'm not sure about this nursery rhyme playing in the background. <laughs> oh, it's already 16.30. Jeez, okay. What? What's there? Collect enough materials to build a workshop. Oh, yeah. I have to build a workshop. 406 copper. Okay, so... Copper and rusted steel. They want, so I'll keep that. I'll sell some of it. I actually afford this. Uh, oh, I need six copper. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've still got stuff here. There's more copper, so I can build that. What does that do? Forge and storage space. Okay. New level. I hope it's not gonna... advance the time. Whoa. Combine materials and melt them down to create new alloys. Every alloy requires different melting conditions. You need to carefully set up the furnace and be careful. One mistake can ruin your materials. Use a warehouse near to uh, the furnace to store materials. Expand workshop to acquire access to the new furnace melting options. Temperature, air, and water access are very important in the melting process. By upgrading, you can also increase storage space. Okay, interesting. So we can actually melt stuff down. So a thousand... Okay. 
So we can get unallied steel, cast steel, kerosene. So basically, we can make better stuff to sell out of all of this. Well, let's try some if we can. Yeah. Use melting. We can select the temperature here with a big knob. Okay, so uh, cast iron and steel. We don't really have any steel. We've got rusted steel and we've got copper. So at a thousand degrees, oh, we can actually put more in. Okay, but I don't have any more copper. At a thousand degrees. So do I need to just wait or was that already it? Oh, there is a lot to unlock through the game. Uh, level up and gain access to new ships and recipes. Deliver required materials to complete orders and get rewards. You will never be able to complete them all. Your orders will show up every day. Okay. Wow, that's actually... There's actually a lot of stuff to do, it seems. Unalloyed steel. Wow, that actually sells for uh, a lot. And as per usual, I really like the word actually. And I keep using it. Um, rusted seal. So I'll just keep that here. Cast iron they also want. Hmm. So I'm... I'm guessing I'm going to put that here for now. We also have petroleum and oil, which we can turn to kerosene. Oh no, just oil. Okay. Uh, at 500 degrees. Not enough materials. Oh, I'm assuming. I'm trying to split it with left shift plus mouse button, but that's not working. Okay, fine. So we're going to store that as well and rusted steel and then everything else we're going to sell even though I'm assuming we're also going to get some sort of a um, recipe for that. Uh, so petroleum is good to sell right now and alcohol isn't. I'm just going to sell that. We got more rusted steel and copper actually. We can make a lot of this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This is, uh, this is quite fun. So we set a thousand degrees. I'm assuming you can also destroy materials by doing this. Wrong. Woo. That was a lot. On alloyed steel. Cast iron. Oh yeah, rusted steel. Okay. So we need more copper. Uh, and we want to work more on the ship. Uh, blade, hacksaw, so we just want to upgrade the shop. It's going to cost 650, so we we do need to sell some of this stuff. Ah, let's just sell all of this. Well, almost all of it. How much does this cost? Unallied steel. Oh, it's actually... Actually, not that expensive. I thought it was going to be way more expensive. Yeah, oh well. Because rusted steel and where's the copper? Copper, yeah. Eh. I suppose you get more for it, but not that much. I still don't have enough to actually upgrade. Oh no, we just have enough. Oh, but he also wants rusted steel, copper, and unalloyed steel. I get it. Alright. New order available. What? Oh, that's the missions, isn't it? getting dark. I do have a flashlight. It is actually quite nice. Hey, man. Nice chickens. Choose order. New orders will show every day if you don't take any order. Unallied steel. Well, that would be nice. That's actually quite a lot. And cast iron, yeah. Well, we do have cast iron. We can accept that. And, uh... Shame I didn't bring it with me. And we can't really drive the truck in here. I'm assuming it's not going to let you just drive over people. Or drive through people. Um, so how much do they want? Uh, how do I check? Oh, five out of nine. Okay. Let's get some more here. We can sell that. It's pretty cool that you can actually also work through the night. Have a night and day. It does look fairly nice, this uh, sort of sunset. This does look like it's somewhere... In the... Uh, Somewhere near the Indian Ocean, I'm assuming. Alright, <clears throat> so deliver order. So we get another level and we get some more money. And we can probably... No, doesn't have any orders. Okay, so we if we kept that alloyed steel, we would have... Uh, 
Yeah, made more money, but oh well. A single hit that deals three times damage. Press right, my, right mouse button to use. That's cool. And more hammer speed, or we can get more of this stuff. More prices in markets. Equipment slot. I don't really want equipment slot. I want slots for, for things. But the car slot is good. All right. New order available. Oh, this guy has a new order now. But you know what? Let's just go finish the ship. I know this is more like a, almost like a let's play, but you know, by doing so, uh, we are we are figuring out how this game works and what we can do and how it feels to play. So we're gonna finish this ship, and as we've seen, there's quite a quite a lot more ships available. Can I? Yes, the car does have lights. I'm assuming the battery is not going to run flat if I just leave them on. Wow. I'm actually surprised. This is one of the best looking lighting effects for car lights that I've um, seen in games. And this is not even a driving game. That's, uh, yeah. Because usually they always do that glare wrong, I feel. And, uh, and the look of the lights themselves. I don't know. That's quite interesting. Alright, so we've done all of this stuff here. Unfortunately, we couldn't buy this, uh, this tool. So we cannot do anything about that. And we've got this. Oh, it's silver. Okay. So there's the super hit. Ability not ready yet. On the bottom left, you can see that it's, uh, replenishing. Uh, sorry, bottom right. And I think we're done with this ship. It would be nice if it actually showed you like a progress thing on the bottom. Cannot take these things apart. I think that's about it. Can we take like the anvil apart or something? Those lights would be nice to take off, but I guess no. Let's see if there's anything else here we can take. Doesn't look like it. I thought you'd be able to just cut the entire ship's apart. Well, maybe later. I don't know. So how do we get rid of the ship now? Uh, I think we just finished the order. Okay, let's go back and finish the order. And get a different ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, that actually resets quiz. <laughs> I wanted to pick that thing up that was on the ground, but of course, in a car, you can't really do that. And if you, if you press that, it actually resets your car's position, it seems. Now, this is more like the music I would sort of expect. Well, maybe. Uh, right, so dismiss. Yeah, it doesn't really say if you've... Uh, if you've done everything. Flag UK, name Atropos, cancel booking. Alright, so no booking. Available ships, 400 a day. So obviously we go for this barge. Uh, 100 a day, so we can book that. But, delivered at 8. Alright. Alright. Well, that was. I'm actually quite impressed. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm quite impressed. I was definitely expecting a much uh, lower quality experience. Um... With no offense, of course, to the uh, to the developers, meant I'm you know just the fact of uh, life, how this stuff goes. Um, I suppose we'll store everything or just make it in this stuff. Anyway, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. Um, like I said, I'm quite uh, I'm quite impressed by this. It's, it doesn't it doesn't feel uh, janky at all. It it feels quite good. And there's a lot of things to do, it seems. A lot of skill points. You get a lot of them very quickly. Uh, there's quite a few ships, it seems. Well, there's nine of them, it, it appears. A big tanker there. Jeez. 2,600 a day. I wonder if there's more. No, I can't scroll through this. Uh, there's inventory stuff. Car. Maybe you can upgrade your house later on. There's stuff here we can build. I don't know. Barrack. Oh, uh, that's probably for people that work for you. Ability to employ workers. Yep. It's quite interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. 
Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you thought about the game. Give the video a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't, and I will see you in another video. Have a good one. And thank you to my patrons, of course. Bye-bye.